Snake, it's your fault. It's your fault. Tash was looking forward to it. He would have. He texted. Dude. Okay, so we're gonna start. Shoyo is our current rank. I think one or two. I'm not sure. PR. At least that's where he deserves. Only second to come master if anybody. This guy is by far the better melee player in our town. Tash number seven. He's consistently within the top 8-ish of our PR, uh, PM ever since this club was started. So it's gonna... So his favorite matchup is the Spacey, but he is he's, he's known to lose a decent amount of space, especially if they're super good at the game. Awesome. Ah, let's go. You wanna solo hand or you wanna... Nah, I'm good. You got it. I don't know. You got it. I don't know if the wolf has a shiny lead, dude. Shiny to me, dude. That's, that's the main thing you gotta even know about. Is that he's a uncle, but he has a knee. What? Oh, okay. I was like, damn. Oh, gotta be, right? So, with, if anybody was just tuned into the recording and they don't wanna, you know, zoom back out to YouTube. Yep. No, I'll show you um, ran off stage at 2%. Oh, okay. At like 2 seconds in. He was, uh, he was hand warming, you know? Hand warming, dude. It's all one convoluted hand warmer right now. The B snaps are back. Yeah, his, his up is not as cool. It's not, it's not nearly as good. As the, uh, he doesn't have magna hands like the other two. Yeah, he, got, like, he has that big ass meal. The only thing good about it is that his side B can go through like walls. So you can like literally jump below the platform and side B through it. Yeah. And then you can catch people off with like a reverse knee, which is pretty crazy. So the main thing well yeah, that was pretty much what I was gonna say. So the main thing Pikachu wants is the meteor, the spike versions of the up air into like forward air acts like edge guarding or tradable forward smash if you can't go over the ledge. Nice follow up. Now the thing is that one thing that Pikachu kind of sh struggled at at this matchup back then in Melee is the back air. Wolf, I don't think. Wolf, can Wolf do like a fire wolf style? He can. He can. He can. He can. He can. He can. It's pretty damn ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. But the thing is that PM, if you grab the ledge five times, you automatically lose on, on his ability to touch the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Ryan will try to just press B over and over again, and then if you try to do that, the more you touch ledge, you're gonna lose all, you're gonna get dead. Yeah. Now, 151%, now again, I was saying is Pikachu and Melee struggled at killing people. Pikachu has N64 back air now. So, a weak or the, the, the soft hit of up air can lead into that back air if your opponent DI is anywhere, actually. Only that specific hitbox, out of the whatever, so I don't know how much a dozen hitboxes there are on top of up air. Oh. It is not. You just so you can do the waveland lasers into whatever you want, but other than that, you have to come down with a downer, which is nowhere near good as Fox Fall yeah, goes. Yeah. You can do like you can have to try to catch him off with a nair, but the nair has horrible priority. So that's the trouble. The only thing you have to rely on is your one frame shine. So you have to try to like run in and out, but he's not as fast as Fox Fall. The only thing is that you have technically reactable guaranteed kills from your shine, which is the bad thing. This is literally Wolf is the fastest faller in the game right now. This is literally Tash's time to take the crown. Because if you had to battle against any type of pro, it will be this game if you want to battle. Two The middle ten Two stages. Until best of until best of five. No, it's um Two bands plus DSR. Plus DSR, so if you want on a stage, your opponent you can't pick oh, it. Yeah, yeah, plus your opponent. Yeah, that's different. Danny's, whatever his name is. I missed the band. Was it? Oh, okay, here's a Falco. Picking the not shitty wolf. <laughs> the not shitty wolf. Personally, I would have picked the, the not shitty space in general because you have that recovery against Pikachu. I mean, Fox feels hella weird. Yeah, it really does. Like this recent patch, they kind of like took him to the ground a little. If you're not willing to laser camp for a good amount of time, your your fox is gonna look a little more fraudulent than it should be. Yeah, that's right. I believe. You believe? I don't believe. Oh, he missed the downward tilted aerial. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
Now the good thing that both Fox can do to Pikachu is intercept that up B with that spike. Now it all depends on how good Cash is up B on ledges. And if he practices any tech skill, it's pretty much snapping just on ledge. I'm not gonna lie, I find it trippy when they see that because I don't like to see it that often. Even though it may look like... Yo. I don't know how he does it. When I, I, I don't play like specifically six characters in this game because like I re Pikachu is one of them because I don't know how his up air works. It looks like I'm guaranteed for that like low angle spike and I keep getting the weak angle. Yeah. But like Cash hits every single one he wants every single time. It's pretty, it's pretty dang crazy. Yeah, I mean, pretty much becomes a melee matchup again. But well, it's the melee matchup when it's crucial. Yeah. At least for the neutral, you have those quick attack cancels versus the wave landing keys and the mainly the wave land the platform cancel up is just crazy. Now there's a lag one Oh no. Yes. Yep. That was good. Yep. Uh, the thing I like about PM but kinda don't like is that shine grabbing is like a lot more free in this game. But then like because it's an option to almost every spacey player, it's like they do it a lot more. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's like, oh I'm gonna just hope they don't mess up the shine cancel, a shine pressure, but then they're like, the chances of messing up the shine pressure is a lot less now. But now he has that grab option which is decently free, so you have to actually try to shield smash out of that shine pressure as much as you can. You really need to practice that shield yeah, going. I just think he needs to uh, stop trying to beat Falco's options when he beats Old Pressure. He's a way back to the shield. He gets space. He's trying to fight Falco in the short. In the short. Like, in the close range. He's like that way back to the shield. Get out of get away from the pressure. He's got to be a great space. And then he's got to beat Falco. Because Falco is a shield pressure character. Definitely. I think he's gonna challenge it. Rolgate was okay, but... Yeah, I'm gonna get in the other place. Rolgate's 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 gonna get in the other place. A lot of times I would like to just wait until he gets a down air out of shield or like waste an aerial. If not, I'm gonna keep my shield up high and low. And I'm gonna try to like either smash the air or shield the if anything can. I'm personally not a type of guy to actually wait that shield that often. I don't know. One band, two bands, then the opponent picks. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you don't see it's a new stage 2.6, so he's not fully aware of it. If I was Tash, I would immediately counterfeit wait. there. <laughs> because he doesn't know that thing. Wait, why wait, why is there three bands? There's two bands, guys! You, Toyo, you ban you ban two, Toyo. You ban, you ban three. two. You're banning four. No, 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 no why? <laughs> but he can't ban. You can't he won! It doesn't work that way. The winner bans two. Only the winner bans two and the opponent counterpicks. Yes, it's unbanned. It's unbanned. Isn't that how it works in melee? It doesn't permanently get banned in melee, does it? Yes. That's what we call counter picking here, show you. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but give me some antics. Three, two, one, go! Gonna start off. Now, if you're gonna go for projectile versus projectiles, even though Pikachu one can gimp and like cover the entire ledge, probably the one is fast treading, stuns, and if you smash, yeah, it will interrupt inputs. What are you gonna do about it? You know? Yep. Thank you, Falco. Wise words. He knows the Falco matchup, if anything. I've lost to my good fair share of Falcos, I'm not gonna lie. His back throw. Nice gimp. Can he get the ledge? That's all I needed. Now, 
to this. This is technically a brawl stage. A lot of even melee players like it, but it isn't that familiar to people who just play melee. So tech chase. Any type of gimp will send them into the tech chase. So it's pretty good if you can get that angle. Got the pop-up, but no bagger. Nine. And the upbeat, it's not a free thing. It isn't a real combo. But if he's not getting punished, I don't see why not, I guess. Okay, one good back here should steal the stock. Or dog smash, that's perfect. Metal eggs. Should not get the double jolt. So not much chain grab. Because so, I'm pretty sure Pikachu kept his chain grab from melee also. And this is like a Final Destination-esque stage. The pillars, the pillars, the pillars. Holy snap. We're currently playing Diamond and Pearl, so this is freaking Pillar City going on. Okay, good thing. So he knows how he jumps out and up here. He's not doing that shield grab, but Pikachu has one of the smallest arms. Unless like you have like a mom Pikachu or mom Raichu and then you breathe with a Machamp or something. There's nothing gonna do with that grab range. Got the get? Can I get it? Got the get? We're playing SoCal here. We refuse to just grab ledge, but that's working. Okay, 99%. Oh, we just needs one shine to instant back here. Can we do this? Got the downer. Got the grab. Nice. So when he does the side of the, it's like a laser. It just interrupts anything. And if your opponent's not quick enough, especially if you're fast falling, you're gonna drop straight down. It happens to a lot of people, especially if you're at the tip of that upbeat. If you're at the very end of that upbeat, it sends you at a weird gift angle. It's not that strong, but if you're caught up right now, he missed the grab ledge. Oh, three stocks to one. But this could. This is not even. This is practically just a stock lead. If anything, he just needs one instant. And if you can get the good gimp on Pikachu, which is hard, because in this game, if you perfectly master your wavelength like you've seen Anther play, he can pretty much beat anyone on stage anytime he wants, even though you can only quick attack with cancel once. If you ever have to stop at one, quick attack cancel. If you stop at two, make sure you aim for a ledge. He's gonna go, he's, he's stuck in that shield. Of that X platform gameplay where you're trying to shield drop going on. Check chasing with down air. It's a, it's, a, it's a thing, it's not the most optimal thing because you have to tech chase, it's not guaranteed. Can you get it? He misses the forward air, he drops straight on ledge. This is the up air. You gotta immediately try to double jump immediately after that because you have enough hits left for that. You missed it. One stock a piece, and Falco is a combo beast. This is practically no one's game. Pikachu just needs one good stage control into one good edge guard. Falco just needs one amazing combo. Nice use of platform. Oh, he's fishing. Playing Twilight Princess now. He's fishing so hard. It only works in Ganondorf here, dude. Down here, here comes the combo. 82%, 90%, 99%. Oh! If he called that read with a down smash, that would have been game. All of the work up there. Nice DI. What is going on here? Nice. No punish. Up there. Misses the read on the platform. If it wasn't for that platform, if he followed it long enough, it would have been a back air. Is he gonna get it? Is this true? No. Okay, platform. Always have that option because you just like access and up air after platform drop is super good on PvP because it leads to a lot of openings. No, missed it. None of these down smashes are working, but Cash is using them a decent amount. Low from ledge carry. <sighs> Sorry. There goes my hopes for sure you're going to lose this bracket, but. There we go. That was Tash's closest game. He feels accomplished by it, but now he's in the loser bracket. Huh? I got it right.